Hello everyone, my name is Nelly and I'm an application specialist here at Malvern Analytical. And today we're going to go through how to make a zeta potential measurement. First of all, we need to have our cell ready with our sample and we need to insert it in the instrument, making sure it's in the correct orientation with the logo facing us. And now we can move on to the software to create our method. First of all, we need to name our sample and then we need to select the correct cell for the zeta potential measurement. So if we scroll down, we can select the DTS 1070 cell. As we can see, the size measurement is still colored, but now you have the zeta potential option colored as well. Then we need to select the correct material and dispersant. We have a library of different dispersants or material that you can use, or you can add your own if you select the edit button. Then we need to select our project where our measurements will be organized under and then we can actually move on to selecting the zeta potential measurement. We can define how many repeats we would like to do and then for most users at this stage we can actually commence with a measurement. When the measurement is completed, we can go into the Analyze page to view our results. So, first of all, we have our results overlaid and we can see the data quality guidance that says that there were no data quality issues detected. And we can also see the zeta potential distribution. As an example, if there was something going on with our samples, such as in this case, the data quality guidance will flag it up in this scenario, there was low scattering intensity, meaning we probably need to increase the concentration of our particles and then redo the measurement. If we do want to see our zeta potential results, we can select the workspace called zeta, which is there by default. So we have access to the phase plot, the zeta potential distribution, and also key statistics. If you have any parameters you specifically would like to see in your zeta potential measurements, you can add them in the customized workspaces available. <music> 